Hello everyone, welcome back to part 4 of our platformer tutorial series. This unfortunately is the last episode of this series. I have had a lot of fun making it, and I bet you guys have had a lot of fun making your projects and customizing your platformers. I'll be very excited to see what you make, but let's go ahead and get right into this video. So we're going to be adding lots of different, like, effects. Like, so you can have like a trampoline block, ice, a speed up, and a slow down. So I've updated, once again, the assets for all of these. If you go ahead and just do what we did in part one. And if you have not seen any of the other parts, there's a card in the upper right hand corner, if I remember to put it in post-production. But go ahead and click on that, and that'll take you to a playlist of all of the videos. It'll take you about 40 minutes to watch them all. Not that bad, right? Yeah. So, go ahead and so in the player, we have all these blocks. All these different ones, you can leave them just in a jumbled mess for now. So right here, where we have the friction, right here, change X by round X velocity. Actually, it's this one right here, where we set the X velocity to this. Remember how that's the friction. So go ahead and set this to, go ahead and get an if else. If not touching ice, because ice is slippery, so that will make us decelerate slower. If not touching ice, then we're going to do that. That's the normal one, what we had before. Otherwise, set it to like 0 0.95, let's say, because that will make us decelerate quite slower. Sorry for that audio quality change, that was horrible. So if we can go ahead and test this, go ahead and hide all the other ones. Dum dee dee, dum dee da, dum dee da, dum dee dee. So right here, just go ahead and I guess put this like here or something. We test it. See how we get a bit of a speed boost? See how I accelerate quite a bit faster? And you make that, don't do what we did for the coins for that one. Just do that. Go ahead and go into your costumes and do what we did for like danger. Just copy and paste the platforms over and just add the ice where you want it to. Okay, good. So now we can go ahead and do the trampoline script. So go ahead and add another one green flag clicked block. One green flag clicked forever. If touching, if touching trampoline, then what we're going to want to do is set our y velocity to a number that you want that's like a bit like around double your um, jump height. I'm going to do like 22. So, go ahead and do that. And if we test that now, we can hide this. Oh, we should probably make that smaller, shouldn't we? Go ahead and, when green flag clicked, set size to, like, I don't know, 75? Maybe, like, 50, actually. So, we can go ahead and test that with the ice, slippery ice. Boing, boing. Okay, that's cool. Now, let's go ahead and do with the other cool things that we are going to add. So let's add a speed up. And what this is going to do is it's going to make a speed up. So we can here, right where we're changing our x velocity, we can actually, instead of that, just go ahead and duplicate this to make it easier on ourselves. Duplicate this. If touching speed up, this time we're going to change x velocity by let's say experiment with this number a lot experiment 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 i cannot stress that enough you'll definitely need to experiment a lot to get this value correct i honestly right now don't know what i'm going to use i think this is it yeah see how we go faster you might even want to slow that down a bit yeah you definitely want to slow that down a bit but you can also what you can do is change that effect to instead of being like an arrow Make it like um, a conveyor belt, and that could be cool. But again, you can do that in all of your projects that you do. 
And I would love, once you're done with them, to sh send me a link in the comments below. And I would definitely play them and have a lot of fun doing so. Okay, that's sufficient. This reminds me, before this gives me anxiety, go ahead and duplicate over all of the code from the platforms into all of these, even danger. I think we forgot to do that. That's important. So, go ahead and do that. Not in coins, though. Do not put it in coins. That not work because remember the special thing we did there okie doke that works so now if we play it It'll disappear once it gets past the level that it's on, which is good. We want it to do that. I haven't made any more costumes, though, so we speed up, and they're still there. Do you know why? If you said, I doubt you did, because this isn't a little kid's TV show, but it's because this is the only costume we have, and so if you just make another blank costume for all of them, that will fix the issue. Sorry that there's a lot of dragging today, but that's what happens when you get new things added. So, now if we test it, that will definitely be working. It seems the trampoline is right there, yep. And that's big again. Do you know why? It's because I forgot to press the green flag. So, now, that works. And you can go ahead and move those trampolines and all that around. And unfortunately, this is the final thing of coding we're going to do during this series. It's been a lot of fun. If you guys want to see maybe a scrolling platformer next, go ahead and let me down down below. And also, if you're an educator, you can go ahead and tell me that you're an educator, and I will be glad to help you create lesson plans. Well, I mean, I'm a 14-year-old. That's just kind of lazy, but yeah. So now, if we show this, and then we go play. And we go to that. We go backwards. That's kind of weird, isn't it? Yeah, but it's cool. So, you guys can go ahead and implement these however you feel that will be fun. Like, make it fun. I want to see your platformers. I really want to see your platformers. Like, a lot. Um, so, if you make a platformer, I know one person at least has been following along. Yeah, thank you guys for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe for when I do a scrolling platformer. Or something else. I'm not sure what I'm doing next, but comment down below any suggestions you have, and I will see you next time. Bye!